There are two things that I love to do, play with technology and talk. And I love it even more when I can talk with technology. So when I learned about TQE discussions and Jamboard, I went into my happy space. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Jamboard to have a TQE discussion with your students. So before we jump into looking at Jamboard, let's talk about what a TQE discussion is. TQE discussion is a strategy that I picked up while listening to a podcast by Jennifer Gonzalez, the code of pedagogy. Um, I listen to so many podcasts, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up where I get what from. And so as soon as I heard about the TQE discussion, where we're having students bring to class their thoughts, their questions, and their epiphanies, I just had to try it. So Prior to running into Jamboard, what I would do is I would clear off a space on this big whiteboard that I had at the back of the classroom. And I sectioned off a space for thoughts, questions, and epiphanies. And I would give students dry erase markers. And at the beginning of class, I would set aside a time for students to gather their thoughts, questions, and epiphanies from the reading, and then chart their TQEs on the big whiteboard. Now, when you got a class of 35 students, that was a lot. And when we're going virtual, it's impossible. So this is where Jamboard comes into play. If you haven't heard about Jamboard before, Jamboard is pretty much a whiteboard that is a part of the Google Suite. And it is amazing. So I'm going to show you on the desktop how to set up your Jamboard and how to use it in your classroom. However, I'm going to start off using Jamboard on the desktop so that I can show you guys how to set it up, but I'm gonna to transition to the Jamboard app on my iPad and show you how to use it from the iPad version because I just think that the iPad version has more features and it's so much more awesome this to use in the classroom. So let's go ahead and check this out. When setting up a Jamboard, you really just, I'm going to start over, go to jamboard.google.com like you would do with any other Google tool. And when you get there, you want to start you a new Jamboard. So if you see here, this plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, that is how you will create you a new Jamboard. But I already have one started for our TQE discussion. So I am going to click on my TQE discussion and check this out. Now, when you create your Jamboard, the background is not going to be this awesome line paper. It's going to be the standard white. But you have a variety of different backgrounds that you can choose from. You have your dots, you have your lines, which is college rule paper. You have your square, so just think of big awesome chart paper for our math classes. You have your graph paper. Here's graph paper in gray. You have a blue background and you have a nice chalkboard black background, okay? So I am going to go ahead and transition over to the app so I can show you guys how to set up a TQE discussion using Jamboard. So here I am on the app. And like I said, the app has so many different features that the desktop version does not have. So if you click this plus sign from the app, you have your, where you can pull from your Google Drive, you can bring stuff from your camera, you have your image library, and you have your stickers that you can use. But if you look at the desktop version, the desktop version just has your pen, your eraser, your arrow, the sticky notes, you can pull pictures from your drive. Um, it has a circle tool, a text box tool. Um, so again, the app itself has way better features that you can use. So for a TQE discussion, what I like to do is I like to create three different sheets. So I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna hit the arrow button and I'm gonna go to my right and then I'm gonna create another one. And then if I hit that drop down button, I can change the background, hit those three dots. I'm gonna change the background. So I'm going to do my line paper again. I wanna apply that to all and I'm gonna add one more. And let's do that line paper again so that that way I'll have it, okay? so. What I like to do with the TQE discussion 
is I'm gonna go back to my first one. And this is going to be where we put our thoughts. So you can add a text box and you can just on your text box say thoughts. And then on your second one, now I can switch in between the whiteboard feature on my desktop and the whiteboard feature on the app. And that's one of the things I love about Google tools. So thoughts, questions here. And I am going to put epiphanies on my last one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shorthand it. Okay, and so now, I want to engage my students in a TQE discussion. So how do I get this to my students? So like any Google tool, we want to be able to share our jam, okay? So I am going to share it. I want to get a shareable link to my jam. So I'm gonna take the easy way. So I want to do link sharing on, and I want to get copy link and I am going to take this link and I am now going to post it into my Google Classroom. And so that way my students can access this Jamboard. So I'm gonna say, Let's have a TQE discussion. And then I'm going to add that link. And I'm gonna hit post and bam, it's on my Jamboard. So now I'm gonna go to the student view and I want to see if it is there on my Jamboard. And there it is. So what you should see now is me popping up on my own personal Jamboard. So now I'm coming in as a student. So now we want to start having our discussion. So my instructions are anything from the reading that you have a thought about, you have a question about, or you have an epiphany about. And I usually, for the sake of time, I use this activity as a way to debrief the reading um, before we transition into an activity or I transition into direct instruction. I want to see what the students already know before I cover content in class. So with that being said, I have students post one thought one question and one epiphany to start off with. Then as they get familiar with pulling TQEs um, and how to write TQEs, then I, I have them post two thoughts, two questions and two epiphanies. Prior to us coming together as a group, I then put students into small groups and I let students within their small groups share their thoughts questions and their epiphanies and discuss their thoughts, questions, and epiphanies in a small group setting. Just in case that way we're not able to get to all the TQEs during class, um, I can still participate with them and facilitate their small group discussions and hear what they're discussing about. And then we come to a class and we discuss all of the TQEs, okay? So versus us looking at this big whiteboard, now we have our Jamboard in front of us where each page is dedicated to a thought, a question, or an epiphany, okay? So now I want students to post their TQEs. So what I do is I instruct my students to use the sticky note feature. And I like to assign colors to the TQE so that that way we can kind of keep them organized. There's not too many colors on the board, but if that's not something that bothers you or you think would bother your students, don't worry about it. So I'm going to say a thought. And I'm gonna use my thought about Jamboard. Um, I think Jamboard is, oh, spelled that wrong. Jamboard is awesome. So that is my thought. And as your students jump on to the Jamboard, you will be able to see their little icons pop up 
usually with their name so that that way you know what students are on your Jamboard or not. So now I want to go to my question. So I'm going to post another sticky note about the question. Um, what other ways can we use Jamboard? So I think that's a good question. So now I'm going to post that and I will move that. I like to organize mine. And then my epiphany is going to be, wow. This tool can also be used as a back channel. Yes, because when having discussions in class and reviewing our TQEs, one of the things that I often like to do is have my students who are not so vocal, um, my, my, shy, my shy students, I like to have them use the Jamboard as a back channel. So another thing I like is as we're going through the TQEs, sometimes I like to throw out some connection tools. So I'll say, hey, as we're talking about this question, what are some images that come to mind when you think about Jamboard? So I'll use that as an example, or when you think about this topic, what image comes to mind? So I want you to pull an image or post an image to this Jamboard. So I'm gonna have them use the search tool and we're gonna search an engine, an image. And I'm gonna search Jamboard just for the purpose of this. And I'm going to put that, you know, I remember one time we were discussing the civil rights movement and I did not want to take up the whole class, uh, take up time in the class period for me to transition to my computer and find an image of Emmett Till that I wanted to show my students. So instead, while we were discussing and they were discussing, I hurried up and found the image and dropped it on the jam board and was able to say, hey, look, now let's talk about this. Let's process this image. Let's think about it, consider why did Mamie Till say she wanted to show the world what had happened to her son via Jet Magazine. So it was a very, very powerful moment um, that was able to happen because of Jamboard. So another thing I like about Jamboard is it allows me to create a classroom setting that is based on student voice and student choice, especially when it comes to what thoughts, questions, and epiphanies we're discussing as a class. So what I do is once students post their thoughts, questions, and epiphanies on the Jamboard, again, I put them into small groups and have them discuss their TQEs as a group. And then we come together as a class and we debrief the TQEs and we discuss um, and we select and discuss the ones that the students want to discuss as a class. So the way that I do this, I'm gonna go back to the app, is I have them review all of the TQEs that are there and I have them use the sticker feature that is in Jamboard to either put a thumbs up, a check, or a star by what TQEs they want to discuss. If you look on the taskbar that is to your left in Jamboard, if you hit that plus sign, that plus sign is going to take you to the different features and we want to select the sticker feature. So again, I want them to put a thumbs up next to the TQEs that they want to discuss. So if they wanted to discuss, wow, this tool could also be used as a back channel and they put a thumbs up there, then I know that we want to stop and discuss what are the multiple ways that we can use Jamboard as a back channel tool in our classroom. So again, Jamboard, the possibilities like any tool that I show you guys are endless. There's so many different things that you can do, but this is just how I use Jamboard to have a TQE discussion in my class. So go ahead and get your jam on.